In a culture where logic and reason have been discarded, the truth of Holy Mother Church is still very much alive. Fill your soul with the truth of the Holy Catholic faith. Get your premium account at churchmilitant.tv today and discover the truth. Hello, I'm Michael Miller. And I'm Rebecca Hasenauer. Here are your latest headlines from churchmilitant.tv news. Catholic Princeton University professor and pro-life, pro-traditional marriage activist Robert George has been elected chair of the United States Commission on International Religious Freedom. The organization's website states that it is, quote, a U.S. federal government commission dedicated to defending the universal right to freedom of religion or belief abroad. George, a Princeton University politics professor, is known for his defense of the unborn as well as his natural law defense of marriage as the union of one man and one woman. Yesterday, the Catholic University of America announced it is trying to decide whether or not it will accept the Obama administration's terms on the contraception mandate or to keep fighting. Religious counsel for the university has stated that the terms still don't take into account their religious objection and admitted they'd be, quote, significant facilitators of birth control if they accept the mandate. The Catholic Hospital Association and Georgetown University recently announced they will accept the terms of the accommodation while America's Catholic bishops are still unsatisfied with the regulatory compromise. A book called Zealot, The Life and Times of Jesus of Nazareth, currently the number two top-selling book on Amazon, claims that Jesus Christ never claimed to be God and that Christians have misunderstood him. The author of the book, Reza Aslan, is a devout Muslim and describes himself as a religious scholar. One news source described this book as a fast-paced demolition of the core belief that Christianity has taught about Jesus for 2,000 years. The Archbishop of Lyon, France, suffered a double heart attack on Sunday as he accompanied youth from his diocese to World Youth Day in Rio. The Archbishop's condition is not considered grave at the moment, but he will not be able to continue his trip to Rio. The French experienced tragedy last week as well, when a bus full of youth traveling to World Youth Day crashed killing a young French woman. I'm Michael Miller. And I'm Rebecca Hasenauer. Those are your headlines from churchmilitant.tv. Make sure you check out today's Vortex, where Michael compares the Catholic faith to a fine wine. Thanks for tuning in today. Spread the word about us to your friends. And may God bless you. Sick of TV and its cultural rot? Tune in to churchmilitant.tv and become a premium subscriber where you will get access to fresh shows with solid church doctrine. As a premium subscriber, you'll get hundreds of hours of programming, which includes investigative shows, catechesis, apologetics, church history lessons, and a lot more. What are you waiting for? Forget the bad television and dive into the riches of the Catholic faith for only $10 a month.